Is there sound now? Yeah, I know why.
Test one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two.
Test one, two, getting ready to start the game here. About 14 minutes left before we get things rolling here in Portage, Pennsylvania. The Portage Mustangs take on the Connemaw Valley Blue Jays.
In about seven minutes, 30 seconds to go before the home opener for the Portage area Lady Mustangs this evening against the Kanama Valley Blue Jays. Again, about seven minutes, 15 seconds to go. So stay tuned.
Welcome to Portage, Pennsylvania, coming at you live from Len Chapel Gymnasium. Here for the first home game for the Portage Mustangs tonight. They take on the Kanama Valley Blue Jays. Last week, the must or I'm sorry, yesterday, the Mustangs on Monday were able to beat the Ferndale Yellow Jackets 87 to 32 to rack their first win of the season. Their season opener. They are currently 1 0. Kanama Valley dropped their first game and uh, looking for their first win. They're 0 1 right now. So it should be a pretty interesting game tonight. As again, the uh, Portage Mustangs take on the Kanama Valley Blue Jays here in Portage, Pennsylvania. All right, we're all ready to go here in Portage. Lady Mustang is getting uh, ready here in the huddle. A unique huddle that I have never seen before. Uh, 
And the Connemaw Valley Blue Jays led by head coach Terry Cruz. In the huddle, getting her team ready. For their second game of the season along with the Portage Mustangs. Again, the Blue Jays 0-1, the Mustangs 1-0. After a huge win against Ferndale on Monday, they take on the, well, Winber was supposed to be on the 22nd. It is currently postponed due to a mask disagreement between the two schools. So we will keep you posted if there's any change there or if the game will continue. Um... On the 22nd, two days away. We're not play, we'll see. And here we go. Portage Mustang basketball. Underway, first home game of the season. Junior Sydney Sasson trying to get the jump ball. She does not. Conema takes her right down the court. Unable to put the points on the board. Number four, Marin Swank did get the rebound. And a foul. That was on number 12, Davison for the Blue Jays. And here we go. Number 14, Lauren Schaefer taking it up the court. Passing the ball back and forth. It goes to number five. Lindsay sees back to 14. A little bit of a bad pass there. And Connemaw Valley will control the ball. Stifler taking it down the court. Good defense by Portage. And they're struggling to get it underneath. They do. A wide open shot for number 22. Haley Stifler unable to get it. The Portage Mustangs get the rebound. Number three. Oh, just about had that. Wozniak on the uh, layup there. A little bit of trouble, though, underneath. Putting pressure on number 22. Looks like it is. It is a walking call. And that will give control of the ball back to the Portage Mustangs. Great defense there. Coach Hudak trying to calm his team down just a little bit as number three, Ariana Wozniak, takes it inbounds. And she will take the shot, and it's good. Two nothing, Mustangs. First points on the board by Wozniak. And they are doing a full court press defense here. Connemma able to get it down, though. And that'll be Sydney Sasson with the steal. Whoa, hit hard is Wozniak. Gumbia with the foul. So the Blue Jays early with two fouls. Schaefer passes to Cease, and that is a walk. Unfortunate call there. Blue Jays will take over control. Mustangs lead 2-0 here in the first quarter. 6.40 to go. Gunby back over to Stifler, back to Gunby. They, Mustangs still with a full court uh, press. Wozniak with the shot. No good, but a rebound by number four. Swank, and she will be fouled. Looks like she'll be shooting two at the line. Swank the junior for the Mustangs. Her first shot. After the shooting foul is good. Mustangs lead 3-0, substitution for the Blue Jays. And Swank's second shot is good. So the Mustangs lead 4-0. Connemaw Valley taking it down the court, trying to fight that full court press defense. The Mustangs putting it on early. Gunby over to number five. Ah, Wozniak tipped it, just couldn't get there. That'll be Blue Jay ball. Good effort by Wozniak. And 
Price trying to get it in bounds. Good defense by the Mustangs. And that'll be out of bounds. Portage will regain control of the basketball. They lead four to zero. Here in their home opener, Wozniak will throw it in bounds here. After the bad pass by Kanama Valley. And that'll go out to Swank over to Schaefer. And that'll be inside to Sassen. Little bit of trouble there. Great job, though, fighting out of it. Beautiful shot. And that was a three-pointer for the Mustangs. They lead 7-0. Full court press on again. Blue Jays trying to get through it. And the rebound on the play by number 14, Lauren Schaefer. Schaefer taking it to the hoop. And that's going to be a block. Head coach Terry Cruz not happy with that one. Nevertheless, Schaefer will shoot two at the line. Her first two shots of the game. As the Mustangs lead 7-0. Schaefer's first shot on point. As Hudak comes in for number four. Marin Swank. Trying to make it a nine point lead is Schaefer, the junior for the Mustangs. She does. So both free throws good as the Mustangs continue the full court press. Will the Blue Jays be able to get through it? Price back over. Gunby trying to get it. No good. As number 13 tried to get the ball back. Into the net, couldn't do it. And the Jays really struggling with that tough Portage Mustang defense here to start this game. You're trying to get in a rhythm as the Blue Jays will call their first timeout. And we're back here. Coach Hudak talking over some things with his team here as they lead nine to nothing here in the first quarter. Playing some great defense is Portage. And I'm sure head coach Terry Cruz is trying to get her team to calm down a little bit, get through the full court press, get some quality shots. It's difficult to do that when you have the full court press, but I'm sure she's trying to get them into some type of a, a rhythm to get through that. The Portage will not let up, it does not uh, seem, early on in this game. <coughs> and Maddie Hudak to inbound the ball. She gets it to Lauren Schaefer, who's going to set things up here in Mustang territory. Good defense by the Blue Jays. That goes over to number 13, Maddie Hudak. A little bit of trouble. She fights through it. Beautiful job. Right over to Wozniak. Did she get it? No. And the Kanama Blue Jays. What a steal by number five, Lindsay Cease. She's fouled and will go to the line shooting two. That is their fifth foul of the game here in the first quarter of play. And that'll be Sydney Sassen to shoot two. First one right through the net. No trouble there as they take a 10-0 lead. Touchdown and a field goal to start this game. As they are firing on all cylinders here in Portage, Pennsylvania. Len Chapel Gymnasium looking for that second win early on in the season to remain undefeated. Second shot right through the net. 
And substitution. And it appears the Mustangs will continue the full court press. They will. They lead 11 to zero. Great defense there again. That goes under the net to number five, Lindsey Cease. And they'll put two more points on the board. Great steal. Jump ball. They will call that. And that will return to the Mustangs. Number 13, Matty Hudak to inbound the ball. Swank over to Schaefer. Schaefer trying to calm things down a little bit, get something collected, get a play going. And it's, you know, it's a tale of two defenses so far in this game. The What a shot! And that'll put another two points on the board. And here we go. Jay's trying to get something together here. They are unable to. And let's see what the ref calls there. That will go back to Kanama Valley. And inbounds. That'll go to... They'll finally get it back into... Uh, uh, the, you know, available for a shot. Number 13 with the steal. That's Matty Hudak taking it down to the court. A little bit overthrown. Looking for Lauren Schaefer there. Couldn't get it. As another substitution for the Blue Jays. Taylor Price will inbound the ball. What I was saying before was this is a tale of two different defenses. You see the Mustangs pressuring the ball. They're, they're, they're full court pressing every play where you have the, the um, Blue Jays kind of playing a little bit off the ball. They're not playing as aggressive on defense. And so far, it is costing them as they are down 15 to zero. And Portage will regain control of the ball. And trying to get things set up. Leaves a wide open Matty Hudak. And another foul. She will shoot two more as the Mustangs lead 15 to nothing. Here early in this game, first quarter, three minutes, 35 seconds to go. Hudak, the sophomore for the Mustangs, could not make the first one. And that is the Blue Jays' sixth foul of this game. And we're only in the first quarter. They're going to have to clean that up if they want to make this a game. And the second shot will fall. And the full court press again by the Mustangs. That'll be number three, Ariana Wozniak. Popped it out of bounds. So the Blue Jays will try to get it down the floor again. And a little bit of trouble there. It looks like she's, yep, they're going to call traveling on... Number 22, Haley Stifler. And that will give control of the ball back to the Lady Mustangs. They lead 16 to nothing. Didn't think set up a little bit of a trouble pass there as Gunby tried to get it, couldn't do it. Looks like uh, they're gonna call it back to the Blue Jays. From up here in the crow's nest, it appeared that Gunby was the last to touch that, I guess not. And Price will, well, they are going to call it for the, the Mustangs. It looked like it, initially they called that for the Blue Jays. So the Mustangs will take over. And putting a little bit more pressure on the ball is that Blue Jay defense. But they leave number 33, Justice Giordano, open, wide open under the net. And that'll put two points on the board, 18 to 0. And they'll call a timeout.
And here we go. Nice block by Sass, and she's going to throw down the court to number 13, to Hudak. And they're going to slow things up, calm things down. Hudak with a three. No good, and it'll fall out of bounds. And that will give the Blue Jays control of the ball as the Mustangs lead 18 to zero. Trying to fight that full court press. What's the call? She stepped over the line. And so the Mustangs will regain control of the ball. Looking at a shutout here in the first quarter. It will not remain that way. But the Mustangs playing good defense to start this game. That goes to Hudak. Hudak back over to Hudak. That's Ashlyn and um, Maddie Hudak. Sassen with the three. Up and good. 21-0 your score. And Gunby, double trouble there, trying to get through it. She'll pass it back off to number 22, Haley Stifler. Not sure what the call here was. They're going to call a foul on Mount Maddie Hudak. And the Blue Jays will inbound the ball. And you're seeing the Lady Mustangs letting up a little bit on defense. They're not going to go with a full court press this time. That's going to give the Blue Jays a little bit of time to develop a play and hopefully get some points on the board. They're down 21 to zero. Gunby underneath, bobbled the ball a little bit, tripped them. They're going to call it a jump ball. And that will go back to the Blue Jays. And here we go. Wide open is number five for the Blue Jays, but an air ball. Number 22 will get the rebound. They'll take it right down the court. And the Blue Jays intercept the ball. Now they have an, oh, number 24, Brooke Witnarski. Got it. Fouled instantly. And but that was by number five for the Blue Jays. And the Mustangs are back in control of the ball as Brooke Bednarski will shoot two. Yeah, one and one, I mean, I'm sorry. And that, of course, would be, whoa, it looks like Bednarski might have fouled uh, Gunby there. Anna Gunby, the junior for the Kanama Valley Blue Jays. Mustangs with three fouls so far in the game. And the Blue Jays with seven. Blue Jays trying to inbound the ball. That one to Gunby, Gunby wide open and she will put the first points of the board, or on the board uh, for the Blue Jays. Down 21 to two here in the first quarter. And that one goes to Sassen. Sassen right down the middle. No defense there by Kaiser. And she'll put, what, two points on the board. Wide open is Price. That one will not fall. Sassen with the rebound. Right down the court. This one to Bignarski. I'm sorry, that wasn't to Bignarski. That was to Chibani. Unable to complete the play. And the Jays. Underneath, we'll find a basket again. Mustangs trying to cool things down here, get a play developed. They lead tw 23 to four. Hudak, almost. Gumby with a rebound, another foul. Quite a few fouls early on in this game, a total of 10. 11, I'm sorry, 11 fouls, and we're not out of the first quarter of play. That foul on the Mustangs there, their fourth foul of the game. Price with the inbound, and the Jays looking to put a play together. Oh, 
Wide open is number 20 for the Blue Jays. Unable to complete the pass or the, the shot. Cease with the rebound there over the back. And a foul for the Blue Jays. So that'll put Cease to the line for the one and one. As that is the Blue Jays' eighth foul in here in the first quarter. They are going to have to get that under control. If they want to make a game of this, you can't have this many fouls early on in the game. Potentially giving up free points. Lindsay Cease, the senior. Her first shot, nope. But there is number 33, Justice Giordano with the rebound. Wozniak taking it to the house, getting her own rebound, putting it back up. And great offensive rebounding so far by the Mustangs. Blue Jays putting some good defense here together though as well. That one underneath, it's up and good. And the Blue Jays running right down the floor, trying to get a play set up. Kaiser underneath. She'll take the shot. No good rebound by Wozniak. Wozniak right down the court, and that will end the first quarter of play. So a great job by the Mustangs coming out here early. They lead 25 to four at the end of the first quarter. And here's your Portage Mustang cheerleaders cheering on their team. We'll be right back. With 10 points on the board last game against the Ferndale Yellow Jackets. I'd like to highlight her performance last week, or on Monday, I'm sorry. See how she does tonight. So it'll be Blue Jay Ball here to start the second quarter of play. Mustangs lead 25 to 4. And here we go. Second quarter of play. We'll see how this quarter turns out. Head coach Hudak pretty happy with his team's performance in the first. Just going to have to get those fouls down. That was a beautiful play by the Mustang defense. Number 14 taking it to the house. She'll get two points on the board. And the Mustangs lead 27-4. to four. And there's Wozniak with the steal. That she'll pass it to number five. Lindsay Cease, who puts it up. Wozniak with the rebound. She'll put two points on the board. 29 to four, your score. Kanama Valley, slowing things up, getting a play developed here. Mustangs, still tough on defense. Double teaming both the players there. Number 20 with the shot, unable to, to uh, drop the three. And that looked like it was knocked away by Kaiser. So the Mustangs will regain control of the ball. They lead 29 to 4. Schaefer getting the play set up. Wide open is Wozniak. Couldn't drop the three. And a battle over the rebound between Gunby and Schaefer will result in a jump ball. And the Mustangs will regain control as all five come off the floor for the substitution here. Hudak. Over to Burkett. Burkett trying to set things up. This one to Sasson. Wide open for three. Can't drop it. 
And the Blue Jays running right down the court. Fast break, Gumby with an opportunity. Blocked by number 32, Jenna Burkett. Oh no! The Blue Jays regain control. Trying to get something set up here. They're down 29 to four. Gunby underneath, powering it through. That's two points on the board for the Jays. And the Mustangs will get it in bounds. This one wide open. That time, Brooke Bignardski. Unable to get it. A little bit of trouble. Looked like there might have been some water or something on the court. I hope she's okay. Slipped there. Great job, though, by number one, Taylor Price, to uh, maintain control of the ball. But the Blue, Blue Jays could not stop the Mustangs again. Two points on the board. 31 to 6, your score. Substitution for the Jays. Head coach Lance Hudak talking some things over with his player there. Tail of two defenses from the um, Mustangs. They came out all the, the entire first quarter. Full court press every time. They've laxed it up a little bit, but they're still staying very strong on defense. You'll see every time they're not giving the Jays any opportunity to get a play together. And that ball will remain in the Mustangs' hands. Burke it over to Hudak. Matty Hudak almost had it. The Jays will get the rebound. They're going to fly down the court. Great defense by the Mustangs. A battle. Wow. Gumby and Matty Hudak fighting for the ball there. Gumby looks like she may have hurt that left arm. But she's shaking it off. They're going to pull her just for a little bit to make sure it's okay. And that doesn't become a problem later on in the game. She's had a great game so far for the Blue Jays. Great job by number 13, Maddie Hudak. She's a firecracker on the court tonight, all over the place. Almost looked like a football game a minute ago when they were battling for that ball. Hudak and Gunby, that is. Oh, great job by number 20. For the Jays, knocking it into Jenna Burkett, and it'll go right back out of bounds. And in control are the Blue Jays. They're down 31 to 6, however. And back and forth, they're going a lot of passing. That's what you need to do, get the ball open. Looks like there's going to be a foul there. And that'll be a foul on number 11, Sydney Sasson. That's the Mustangs team. Fifth team foul of the game. And the Blue Jays at eight so far. Here with 4.42 to go in the half. Mustang lead 31 to six. And they'll get it in bounds. Great defense by number 22, Cammie Burkett. But the Jays will recover. Wide open is Stifler. She can't get it. Great rebound there. Boxing him out is Ashlyn Hudak. And now she will set the play up. Mustangs. Great pass to Sydney Sausen. Sausen over through Maddie Hudak. But number 22, Cammie Burr. Oh! Oh! Jeez. Number 13, Maddie Hudak. Took two shots to the face there. They're going to pull her for a minute. She's have, she has unbelievable energy. Just playing her heart out there on the floor. She's going to get evaluated by the trainer real quick. Hudak for three. No good. That back to number four after a great play by the Jays to get the rebound. Just couldn't get it through. Number 14, Lauren Schaefer there. That's two points on the board. Oh 
Jay is trying to put a play together. Can't do it. That'll be Ashlyn Hudak with the rebound. Uh, unable to get that ball. And as we said before, uh, number 13, Matty Hudak out on the sideline just for on the bench just for a little bit, talking things over with the trainer after getting a couple hard hits there. <laughs> it looked like a football game there for a second. She's a tr real trooper. A lot of energy tonight, too. Uh, hopefully she's back soon. Obviously an asset to this Mustang team. And a foul by number 14, Lauren Schaefer. On the shooter. Slow to get up is number five. She's going to walk it off. And they... You can tell she's a little bit... Slow in the walk, but she's fighting through. You got to give her credit for that. That's impressive. So she will shoot two. For the Blue Jays. Both these teams just really fighting it out tonight. The score doesn't indicate a close game, but boy, both teams are really leaving it all on the court there. First shot is no good. Gunby and Kaiser trying to give her a little bit of pep talk there. She's fighting through the pain. It's obvious. It's affecting her a little bit. And the second one is good. 33 to seven. Here with 312 to go in the half in favor of the Portage Mustangs. And they'll set it up. Number 22, Burke it over to Number four, Swank to number two, Hudak. Burkett wide open, can't complete, can't get the three. Gunby with the rebound. She'll take it down the court herself. Oh, stolen by number 10, Chibani. She has an opportunity the whole way to the house. I'm, can't do it. Mustangs will get the rebound. Number four, second rebound. Third rebound by number four, <laughs> Marin Swank. Four opportunities right there uh, by Portage. Marin Swank got her own rebound four separate times there. Just couldn't complete the play. Get two points on the board. It will remain Mustang ball. But great offensive rebounding by the Mustangs. Cecil set things up over to Wozniak. Wozniak over to Chabani. Jabani to Swank, Swank to Hudak. Hudak to Wozniak for three, it is good. 36 to seven, your score. Ari Wozniak with a couple more points on the board. The trifecta. And that one out of bounds. Possession to the Mustangs. And Wozniak will inbound the ball. Mustangs trying to get a play together back and forth their pass. And number two will take the three. Can't get it. That'll be Kaiser with a rebound. And the Blue Jays trying to slow things up, get a good play developed. Kaiser on the screen. And number 35, Julia Stifler with the basket. 36 to nine, your score. One minute, 30 seconds to go here in the half. Wozniak, great play underneath the hoop, getting it over to number 22. Or 33, I'm sorry, Justice Giordano. She'll try for the three, unable to, com to make the shot. I don't know why I keep saying try to, or unable to complete the pass in my head. We'll get there. So the Blue Jays 
take control of the ball. They're down 36 to nine over this tough Lady Mustang basketball team. And this is something you gotta notice. The Mustangs are flying to every ball. That was Brooke Bednarski there with the, with, almost took that ball out of the air. But both teams are really laying it out and putting everything on the court. Uh, doing a great job tonight. That, like I said, the score doesn't really indicate um, you know, that it's a tough battle. But both teams are really doing a good job of giving it their all, and that's you know a lot. That's a lot. Um, that's an important thing. Underneath is Wozniak, unable to make the basket. 32. Burkett with the rebound. Bednarski to Giordano. Cease setting things back up. Underneath, oh, just a, just overthrown a little bit to Wozniak. And here's Gunby right down the court. And a foul before she could take the shot. That'll be the seventh foul for the Mustangs. The foul was on number 33, Justice Giordano. And it is bonus time for the Blue Jays. They'll shoot one and one. Gunby will shoot one and one. Her team down 36 to nine. Here in Portage, Pennsylvania. And unable to get the first shot, but she will get her own rebound and take it to the house. Blocked by number 33, Giordano, another foul. And that is Giordano with the foul. That'll be shooting two is uh, the Blue Jays. And I apologize, we do not have number five's number up here, in, or I mean name up here in the booth, but her first shot is good. 36 to 10, the score. One more to go for the Blue Jays. And second one, no good. Gumby with another rebound. Cease with the shot, no good. Price almost was able to get that, keep that ball in bounds, unable to do so. So Wozniak will inbound the ball. Lindsey Cease will take it down, nice and slow. Eight seconds on the on the clock. Two, and that looked like a foul to me up here in the booth. Number thirty-two, Jenna Burkett, was shooting. They're not going to call the foul. And there's one second on the clock, so that will end the half. 36-10 to 10 in favor of your Portage Mustangs. We'll be back here shortly. Here from Len Chapel Gymnasium, the Portage Mustangs lead 36-10. to 10.
And uh, had a great game. Two rebounds, three steals for her. So we'd like to congratulate those first, those player, those two players, on a great night against uh, Ferndale. Again, um, on the twenty second, your Mustangs were supposed to play the Winber Ramblers in Winber. That game currently postponed due to a mask disagreement between the two schools. We will keep you updated if anything changes there. But here from Portage, Pennsylvania, from the Crow's Nest at Lynn Chapel Gymnasium, the Portage Mustangs lead 36-10 over the visiting Connemaw Valley Blue Jays, who are looking for their first win of the season early on here. They're 0-1. The Mustangs 1-0 undefeated to start the season. And after a really inspiring first half, we'll see how the uh, Mustangs come out here to finish this game but if they keep up what they did in the first it should be no problem for them uh, to put uh, their second win on the board early in this season so we'll be back with you very shortly again here from Len Chapel Gymnasium Portage Pennsylvania this broadcast brought to you by And head coach Lance Hudak, assistant coach Donald Gauss, and uh, also assistant coach for the Portage Mustangs, McKenna Bumgardner, have got to be pretty happy about their team's performance to start this game, uh, leading 36 to 10 over the Kanama Valley Blue Jays, the visiting Kanama Valley Blue Jays. And if you're Portage, you just got to keep up what you were doing. They did phenomenal. Uh, you know, I thought maybe when the when the transition from full court press early on in the game. To a, a you know a different type of defense, not giving them a whole lot of pressure uh, and letting them try to build up a couple plays was going to affect the score. It did not. The Portage Mustangs came out uh, playing very aggressive defense again with the full court press, but that didn't change. The aggressiveness did not change when they changed from the full court press. They were still able to stop the Blue Jays um, throughout that first half. Obviously, Connemaw Valley is going to have to make some changes. Both teams had a lot of fouls. Uh, and, you, you know, you, you, you don't want to keep getting all these fouls, giving away free points at the basket. Um, so hopefully both teams will get that under control. A couple highlight players, though, uh, you know, for both teams there, everyone's fighting it out, giving 100% of their um, energy, <laughs> leaving it on the court. That's always exciting to watch. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Got about a minute and 10 seconds to go here on our halftime break as the Mustangs warming up and here come the Kanama Valley Blue Jays head coach Terry Cruz and assistant coach Beth Kendera for the Blue Jays 
and they have got to change a couple things. They changed a little bit there at the at the uh, in the second quarter, able to get a couple plays together. And again, they're 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 really playing their hearts out as well. Uh, I take nothing away from them at all. They just had some early trouble, uh, and then once you fall back into that hole, you're down 10, 15 points. You know your 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 strategy changes, your your confidence changes, and you and you get a little bit more, um, you know. Um, Unfocus. You're trying to get those points back. You're trying to get as many points on the board as you can, as quick as you can, and then you start making some mistakes. That's uh, you know, that's tough to overcome. So they got to try to calm the ball down, try to make get some plays together, and get more points on the board. The defense has been pretty pretty good. The main problem though has been they have not been able to get past the full court press, which has given more points on the board for the Mustangs. So they just got to get uh, you know the offense slowed down a little bit. And get this, uh, get some more points on the board. Try to lower the the deficit. They're down by 26 points. Still plenty of time. Uh, you know this could be a completely different game coming out here as the Blue Jays will keep uh, inbound the ball. So we'll see how we do here. Aggressive defense again by the Mustangs. Gunby underneath. Looks like that's going to be a foul, and that'll be a shooting foul. Number four, Marin Swank, the 5'7 junior for the Portage Mustangs with the foul. That's not going to be a shooting foul, though. So the Jays will inbound. Price with the three. It's good. Thirty-six, thirteen. Much calmer there to start out. And that'll result in more points if they can maintain. Mustangs getting a play together. This one to number 13, Maddie Hudak with her own three-point shot. 39 to 13. Timeout for the Jays. Early on here in the third, 7-18 to go here in the third quarter. Blue Jays with a timeout. So both teams able to put a three-pointer on the board. As the Blue Jays call the first time out of the second half. Down 39 to 13. And the Blue Jays do have control of the ball. Portage will not continue with a full court press here to start they stopped that at the end of the first quarter and Stifler trying to set a play up again very aggressive defense by the Mustangs and back and forth great passing by the Jays number five will take the shot almost in and the Mustangs regain control of the ball Number 13, Matty Hudak, blocked by number five for the Jays, and the Jays taking it right back down the floor. That was 22, Haley Stifler, blocked by the Mustangs. And Stifler will inbound the ball. This one to Kaiser. Two easy points for Kaiser. 39 to 15, your score as the Mustangs come down the floor. Led by point guard and shooting guard number 13, Matty Hudak. Hudak to Sassen. Sassen out to the corner. And back underneath to number four, floating that ball up. Jump ball. Swank and Gunby fighting for that one. That will remain in the hands of the Portage Mustangs. <laughs> what a play by number 13, Maddie Hudak. Gunby had her back turned to her. She bounced it off of Gunby and then got it right back up herself, unable to complete, to make the bucket, but what a play there by Hudak. I've never seen that before. Portage right back down the floor. Bobbled by the Jays. And that will remain in Mustang hands. Mustang control, I should say. Pass 
Pass out to Sassen for the three. Sassen up. Oh, just up the front of the rim. And the Jays will take it down the court. Number five fouled. And whoa, they're going to call a charging foul on number five for the Blue Jays. Sassen had her feet planted. Great job there by Sassen. As the Mustangs take control. Mustang ball. Inbounded by Lauren Schaefer to number 10, Alex Chabani, the freshman for the Mustangs. Great passing by the Mustangs, blocked by number one, Taylor Price. But they're going to call a foul. So Schaefer to shoot two at the line. Thirty-nine to fifteen, your score here in the third. Five forty-five to go, and the first one good. Nothing but the bottom of the net there. Forty to fifteen. Schaefer's second shot. Good. Forty-one to fifteen, your score. And the Blue Jays. Thing set up having a little bit of a hard time again. This one, number five. Underneath is four, fell right into her hands. Maddie Swank. Great defense there by the Jays. This one to Sassen. Sassen underneath. They're going to call a foul on Gumby. And Sassen will shoot two. Great job by Sassen. 41 to 15. Sydney Sassen to shoot two. Sasson, the first one good. 42 to 15, your score. As a, almost a complete change for the Mustangs. Four out, four in. Sasson, the only one left. Looks like she's going to be substituted out as well, though. Sasson's second shot is good. 43 to 15, the score. And Sasson will come out. And here come the Jays. Getting things set up. Gumby underneath to Kaiser. Kaiser to Price. Price trying to fight through three defenders. Unable to get it through. Blocked. Are they going to call a foul? They do call a foul on Ashlyn Hudak. That'll be a shooting foul. And Haley Stifler, the... Junior for the Blue Jays will shoot two. First one is good. And here early in the third, the Jays with three fouls, the Mustangs with two. And another one on the board. So two for two. Wide open is um, Wozniak. They'll get it over to number five. Hudak with the shot, no good. Wozniak there with the rebound. She'll take it back outside three-point range. This one to number 33, it looked like it was blocked by Price. Jump ball. Battle in between it, that will go back to the Blue Jays, however. And the Jays getting it set up. Screen play. Traveling. A lot of whistles tonight. And so here we go. Wozniak slow. Setting things up. That's what you want to do. Giordano falling down on the ground. Trying to get the ball. And successfully gets the jump ball, which will give control back to the Mustangs. They lead 43 to 17 with 424 to go in the third.
Hudak into Cease. Cease not pressured at all. Back over to Hudak. And Wozniak. They're going to call a jump ball. Looks like she tried to throw it up there to get the foul. Unable to do so. So the Blue Jays will take control over the jump ball. So great defense there to regain control. And you're seeing a much calmer, slower team here on offense. And that's what you want to do. You want to get a play together against this tough Mustang defense. Hudak knocked the ball out of bounds. That'll go back over to the Blue Jays. Stifler to Renninger, the sophomore. And that was Bednarski, almost stole the ball. That will go back to the Blue Jays. Good job by Bednarski. And good defense by the Stangs, but number 20 for the Blue Jays. Pops that in and one. Great job by her. Again, I apologize. I don't have all the uh, Blue Jays roster up here in the booth. We will remedy that next week. Or next game. So shooting one. The end one is good. Nice shot. Nothing but net there on the free throw. And that's what you want to see. Easy points. Underneath, both teams battling for the ball. That'll go, they're going to call that off for Bednarski. And the Jays regain control. Down by 23. Here in the third, 3.31 to go. Underneath, tipped away. Gumby there with a rebound. Jump ball again. That will go back to the Mustangs. Yeah. Hudak out front. Setting up the play. Burkett. To Schaefer, Schaefer underneath back to Burkett. This is Bednarski with the shot. It is nothing but net. 45 to 20 your score. Great shot by Bednarski. The freshman for the Mustangs. Young team here, a lot of talent. Yeah, a foul on number two, Ashlyn Hudak. That's their third team foul, fourth team foul here in the third. And Stifler to inbound the ball for the Jays. Thirty with a shot blocked by number thirty-two, Jenna Burkett. But Narski back to Burkett on the fast break. It'll be number fourteen, Lauren Schaefer with the bucket. Jays fighting down and. Number five, unable to get control of the ball. So that will go back to the Mustangs. They lead 27 points here in the third. Good defense by the Blue Jays. They will... Oh, bad pass, but there's number 10, Chabani. Sneaking right under, couldn't, couldn't get the bucket. Good defense by the Jays. They're going to try to set some things up here. Stolen by number four, Matt Marin Swank. Takes it to the house. Two points on the board. 49 to 20, your score. Great job by Swank. The shooting forward 5'7", junior for the Mustangs. And good defense by Portage. Stolen, number 10. There's two more points. Chabani there with the bucket. 
through some defenders there to get to the hole. 51 to 20 your score. Out of bounds, back to the Portage Mustangs, and they are really firing on all cylinders here. Up 31, widening the lead. Third quarter, a minute, 24 seconds to go in the third. A 31-point lead for the Portage Mustangs. Widening the gap. And getting a play together. Zone defense by the Jays. Double team there on the zone. Swank fights through. Two points on the board. Swank battling through there. Another great play by Marin Swank. The shooting forward for the Portage Mustangs. And after the ball knocked out by Portage... The Blue Jays will regain control. Taylor Price to inbound. Knocked away by Cease. Blue Jay ball. Gunby comes in for number 30. Remy Renninger, the sophomore for the Blue Jays. Tight defense again. That's number 13, Matty Hudak. Woo. Number 10, Alex Jabani tried for the rebound. Looked like it appeared up here as if the back of her jersey was grabbed, preventing her from doing that. No call. And right through the defense. That will end the third. She did make the bucket. It will not count. And the Portage Mustangs after three lead, 53 to 20 against the visiting Kanama Valley Blue Jays. And here come the Portage Mustang cheerleaders to cheer on their team here before the fourth and final quarter of play. Little Neil Diamond join along at home. Fourth and final quarter about to start. Head coach Lance Hudak talking some things over with the referee as well as his team. In a very good position right now. However, the Blue Jays do have control of the ball. So we'll see here in the fourth quarter. Bryce getting things set up. Screen by number 35, Julia Stifler. Ooh, stolen. By number 13, Matty Hudak, the firecracker for the Mustangs. Just dropped out of bounds just by a hair. So the Blue Jays will regain control. Gun be underneath against Sassen. Sassen with good defense. And it'll be Wozniak and Gunby fighting for the ball. That'll go back to the Portage Mustangs after the jump ball. Hudak to Wozniak for three. 56 to 20 after Wozniak's three-pointer is good. And the Jays getting something set up underneath is Gunby. Fouled by Sosini. It is good and one. So Gunby shooting one after the foul there. The shooting foul by Sidney Sosin. So she will be shooting one at the line, trying to make it a three-point play. 
And she just off the front of the wing rim gets her own rebound, takes it back to the house. Can't get the play to or the ball to drop. And here come the Mustangs. Wide open is Hudak. <laughs> good. Three-point shot is good. 59 to 22 your score. Cease on Price. Price, some great ball control there, getting the ball back over to number 20. Is she going to stay in bounds? She will. That goes out to number 35, Julia Stifler. Stifler back out to number 20. The three, and out of bounds. Hit the top of the rim there, or the top of the uh, court there. So the Mustangs regain control of the ball. They lead 59-22 to 22 here in the fourth quarter. For three is Hudak. No good. Place on the rebound. She'll take it down the court. By herself. Up against two defenders. Gets it to number 20. Gunby underneath. Will not get the play. And Wozniak will get the rebound. Giordano. To number 13, over to number five. Lindsay Cease for three. Gunby takes it right down the floor. Fights through the defense, puts two points on the board. Good moves by Gunby. And the Mustangs getting a play set up. Wozniak out to Giordano. And the zone defense still being utilized by the, oh, nothing but net, three-point shot is good. And that was Matty Hudak with the three for the Mustangs. And Matty Hudak with the steal. She's going to take it to the house. Oh. Wozniak there to back her up. Offensive rebounds for the Mustangs. I'd love to see the stats on that. They've been uh, dominating the boards tonight. They lead 62 to 24. And Wozniak for to shoot two. First one, no good. Four thirteen to go in the game. Blue Jays with five team fouls, Mustangs with four. Here in the fourth quarter, so a little bit better so far by these two teams. Wozniak's second shot will fall, making the score sixty-three to twenty-four in favor of the Mustangs. Jay's setting something up. Number five with the three. Rebounded by Brooke Bidnarski. Number 24. She's taking it the whole way down. A little bit of trouble. She'll back out to Sassen. Sassen for three. No good. Rebounded by number five for the Jays. Looks like a foul by number 32, Jenna Burkett. They are going to call the foul. Burkett, the 5'9 freshman for the Mustangs. With the foul there. And Stifler setting things up. Gunby underneath, fouled by number two, Ashlyn Hudak. That is the sixth team foul for the Mustangs. Wide out to number five, over to Price, blocked by Hudak. But Price is there to get the ball. They'll set something back up. Wide open is number five. Unable to get the three. This goes to number 32. Right down the court. Good defense by Price. Could not stop her, though. 65 to 24, your score in favor of the Mustangs.
Brace on the right side. Good defense by number 32, Jenna Burkett. Sauce in there. Ooh, hit the ref. But she'll get right up. They're going to pull her out of the game just for a minute. Great job by Sauce in there. And if you've been watching uh, these broadcasts for a while, you know that Sydney Sassen and Brooke, Bidnar Brooke Bidnarski, both volleyball players, had a great season this past um, uh, year in 2020. Continuing their sporting uh, careers. Now in basketball. And Coach Lance Hudak talking things over with his team. I believe a timeout was called by the Blue Jays. <clears throat> 244 to go in this game. Another dominating performance by the Portage Mustangs. Again last week they uh, just crushed the uh, Ferndale Yellow Jackets 87 to 32 and that was in Ferndale. So this is a pretty, oh, stolen by number 10, Alex Chibani. Mustangs take it down the floor. Chibani can't put it together there at the end, though. Great job effort by her. Again, two more offensive rebounds by the Stangs. This one goes out to number two. Another offensive rebound, and this one will go in. That was Brooke Bignardski with the offensive rebound. Bignardski, the freshman at 5-6. Shooting forward for the Mustangs. Got the rebound, put it in. Two points on the board. It will remain Jay's ball. Screened by Kaiser. And again, that'll be out. Uh, and the Mustangs take control of the ball. Head coach Terry Cruz trying to talk to her team there. Great effort there by number 35, Julia Stifler, to try to keep that ball in bounds, unable to do so. And back and forth, this one to Bednarski. Bednarski over to the side. Right side there, they're passing the ball very well, trying to get an open player. Overthrown, Bednarski tried to get there, just couldn't make it. A for effort for her as usual. And the Blue Jays. We'll go down the court. Good defense by the Jays. Number 22, Haley Stifler will get the shot off. And that will remain Blue Jay ball. Number 32, Jenna Burkett tried to keep the ball in bounds, unable to do so. 50 seconds left in the game. Clock still running. That's Kaiser underneath. Can't get it in. This one goes down the court. Number 10, slowing things up just a hair. Burkett with the shot, it's good. 69-24 your score. 29 seconds left to go in this game. Overthrown a little bit. Both players falling for the ball there. 16 seconds and they're still, clock still running. Nine on the clock. Just trying to get one more point on the board. Kaiser looking at the clock. Underneath, no foul. That is the game and the Portage Mustangs take the victory 69 to 24 against the Kanama Valley Blue Jays. They moved to two and zero on the year. Here from Portage, Pennsylvania, the Lady Mustangs, a crushing defeat of the Kanama Valley Blue Jays. Both teams fought it out pretty well, I gotta say. Even though the score, like I said before, the score doesn't indicate this was a close game. Both teams really um, gave it their all. And you gotta have a lot of respect for both teams on that effort. Uh, you know, the, the, the wins aren't always as important as giving it your all. And both teams definitely did that. A lot of respect to both 
uh, clubs here. So again, the final 69 to 24, the Mustangs take a 2-0 start to the season as the Blue Jays fall to 0-2. We'll see. As the Mustangs will take on the Kanama Township, Kanama Township on the 25th at 7 o'clock here in Portage, Pennsylvania. From Mustang Broadcasting Network, signing off.